We are Shannon and Lee Tunstead uh, from Toowoomba, uh, originally from the Atherton Tablelands. Um, and we bought a cruiser high side. To tow the, the cruiser high side, we've got a 79 series Toyota Land Cruiser, dual cab. Uh, we've got three boys, so we need the room to fit the um, three boys in. We've gone for the easy setup. We've just got a, a six by three pop-up. Um, it's nice and easy to erect if you're here for a couple of days, but if, if you're not, if you're here for a week or two weeks, you can set the whole awning up and do a proper setup. It's nice and easy. We originally had a softball soft soft ball. camper, and um, just the setup time with the softball was, was, was three hours, getting on three hours. But with one of these, mate, if, if you're here for an easy setup, you just flip up, flip the top up, and, and camp in it, sort of thing. And nice and basic. Yeah, the softball camper was good when the kids were little because you needed the room yeah. for, you know, cots and all that sort of stuff. But we just liked being off the floor because we did get caught a couple of times with bad weather and everything got wet. And yeah. So yeah. we liked the off the floor setup. We liked it a little bit more compact. It was a lot easier for Shannon because he's the one that sort of is the brains behind everything. So, well, look at you are. Um, so he, it was just a lot easier, so you could sort of see, with the MDC, you could see the water, the batteries were, yeah, like the right. setup was a lot easier, it was compact. Um, Everything's on slides, the kitchen's on slides, the fridges are on slides, you don't have to unpack stuff to get stuff out, and you can eat on the road, just slide things out and away you go, yeah. And if you don't have the boys in the bed, you can just, like the little U-shaped eating area is great, especially if it's mm. freezing cold, we just chuck their beds over onto our bed, and you've got a nice little eating area there, so it's sort of fits everything. And three boys, you know, they climb, jump, twist, run, everything, like they're into everything. So it's just, it's pretty hardy having three boys and I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, anyway, it suits our family. Yes. We love it. We search for lots of other campers, but we always came back to MDC for some reason. Yep, we, good uh, reviews, uh, yeah. value for money. Yeah, we love the value for money and we felt that it included a lot of stuff. Yes that some of the higher price campers had, but we just thought, I don't know, this was good value for money and yep. it fit a family of five and it was easy. That's right. Pretty much, that's pretty much it, so. We cook on our Weber. Uh, the Weber, we do a lot of meat cooking and all that sort of stuff. Um, with boiling water, cooking eggs or veggies, we do it on the cooktop of the MDC kitchen. Uh, it works great for us, it's big enough. Um, pretty basic, it's got lighting, it's got everything on it. You don't really need to pack too much more into it to, to bring. We do a lot of camping with families. Yes. Um, my husband's a tradesman. We've got a couple of beautiful tradesman families that um, we're really close with, so they come on all the adventures with us. Uh, we always pool together resources sometimes. Like we had a couple of camp oven cook offs this mm. week at the bash, which was great. Two ovens going, a couple of rows, heaps of veggies. Everyone pooled with all their food, and we just had a big feast the other night. So that was sort of good, wasn't it? So. Um, yeah, no, it was good. Nice and easy, and that's what camping's all about, I suppose. So. Oh, we we've really done... want to do the Cape. Yeah, we've done a few. We've done a lot yeah. of beach camping, so we've mm. been to Morton Island, we've been to Stratty, we've been up to North Queensland. Yep. Um, my husband does a lot of motorbike riding, so the boys will go on trail, right. trail rides, yeah. so that's great, like, just to whip the camper out. So we hook this the on the, the 79 series and throw the motorbikes on the back, and it's plenty of um, towing there, yeah. It's got everything, it's got the kitchen, it's got everything, you don't need to pack just the food and clothes and... And even for a one night stay too, like I was worried that it was going to be, oh my god, like the other families that we're camping with are vans, and I'm thinking, oh my god, they're going to be waiting for us, you know, we're going to be the longest, but mm. it's been the same, like sometimes we're even quicker than and them, so, up, yeah, and setting up and packing down and stuff, so... Obviously with the, the three by six pop-up makes it easier, you don't have to set awnings and all that, so and time down and all that sort of stuff, so... The other thing that I found great was when we went to Morton was the little ensuite area like that was fantastic because we've always had the shower separate and it was so easy to have the ensuite um, right, dust all the right sand there. off right there come out of the ensuite you come into the awning yep. the kids can get dressed and then everything's there that was sort of a bit of a luxury treat for us because we've never had yeah, you're not that having before. to walk, walk away from the camper to have showers you can have showers here and there yeah so that was that was good we liked hmm. that but and yeah. the hot, hot water system and toilet is, is all included as well uh, which is great yeah you don't have to on, on buy stuff and waste more money, yeah. Yeah, but no, we're pretty happy. The When we bought it, like, like we said, we kept coming back to MDC. 
We went down, we had a look at a couple of camping shows. Um, they were always very helpful there. We went down to Brisbane, pretty much knew what we wanted, signed up straight away, um, picked it up six weeks later and yeah, the whole experience has been positive. So yeah, we yeah, we can't complain, can we? And I but think the value for money is unbelievable. Like to get another camper with all the trinkets this one has, um, like you're paying 40, 50 grand and we didn't want to spend that sort of money, we wanted to spend the low budget and it's we've hadn't haven't had a drum, everything's stainless steel, nothing torn. Mate, wear and tear is unbelievable, like it's, it's, it's a good camp again. Yeah. And I think in life too, there's never a perfect time, you know, mm. sometimes there's never a perfect time whether it's money or bit you're busy or there's kids stuff going on, I think you've just got to do it. Mm. And for us, the biggest thing is, I love about camping is just being with the kids and being with the boys. And I just find you see different places, it's quality family time. Having a family of boys, whether it's boys or girls, they just love the outdoors. Mm. And we come home, you're exhausted, but you feel refreshed. So I think there's never a perfect time, but I think if you love camping and you want to get out there and see places, I don't know, just go for it. So that's what we sort of decided, didn't we? Yeah. yeah so. Get out and see the world. Yeah. <laughs>